So it's feeding time with the puppies. Um, we haven't been able to post a lot of our more detailed videos yet, but they are coming. Um, so we just wanted to post a little update on the puppies. We have them at, really they're just one week old, so, um, that's so cute. Taylor is uh, grooming her sister, or at least she was. Batman thinks I am the mom, but I am not. So he hasn't quite figured out that he needs to keep it moving. There he goes. It's like, move, Taylor. I know mom has milk. So everything's been going pretty well. We have um, some puppies that are, um, I guess, our runs. So we have, we had Mello, who unfortunately passed away, I think, on day three. Um, she was doing fine, and we didn't see any signs of deterioration, but um, that morning we knew something was wrong, and we weighed her as we had been, and she had dropped considerable considerable weight overnight so um that was really hard on us because we had thought she had made it out of the clear um but we learned a lot through her loss and um we are going to plant some yellow tulips where we buried her because she had a yellow collar and she will kind of always have a legacy with us because you never forget the first pup that you lose. And um, it's kind of our promise to her legacy to keep learning and see if there's anything that we can do um, to obviously keep pups alive if they're meant to be here. There's also part of nature where, you know, there's just some that aren't going to make it. And so we want to balance out not, you know, forcing um, pups to stay alive if they're just going to be sick and lead miserable lives. So we're really kind of trying to learn and balance everything out and just trust in divine order that you know, despite our best efforts, we were not really able to to bring her back um, to stay with us. So she was actually my favorite. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a ramble because we still haven't quite processed it all. Um, second thing that other people have noticed is the moms lose a lot of weight. So Phoenix was actually quite skinny after giving birth. Um, and you could even tell during birth because her spine uh, started to show. And so we have been just basically feeding her as much as possible, keeping her food up, um, giving her oats and flax seeds, which at least in humans promotes milk development. Flag seeds are an amazing source of omegas, so that's what the pups need for good brain development. And basically, we feed them uh, organic oats because um, the non-organic ones have been linked to, I believe, lead. So we're basically treating Phoenix's babies like we would our own, Baby J. So we've been giving her lots of treats, um, foods with calcium, some almond milk. Um, we've been giving her wet food, uh, Kaufman stress supplements, um, salmon, chicken. Basically, um, she eats really well right now but it's very hard to keep her weight on but believe it or not she's actually skinnier the first week than she is now 
Um, top line corsos was amazing on Instagram. They reached out to us and helped us to know that there is another Breeders Edge product, which you will see us talk about in our um, whelping supplies video uh, coming up soon. Um, the Breeders Edge Nurture Mate is a pen that no one should be without um, before they deliver their pups because a lot of people swear that it helps um, their puppies stay alive um, and even reverses the runs to being some of the biggest in the litter. So we've had two come in now and we'll never be without it. I have not used it yet, um, although I may very soon. Um, we have Tiffany here, who's about half the size of, of the other pups. She's our smallest. And then we have uh, Conda here, who's purple collar, and she is the, the largest. Um, pink collar, Laura, X23, and Batman are our next largest pups. Um, and the rest are all pretty similar. Sparty was our smallest male, but I never have to assist him. He just constantly uh, does well and, and gains weight. Um, but Jubilee, who's somewhere in there, has had two days where she hasn't put on any weight. So um, we may use a nurture mate on her and um, Tiffany. But um, if we see any signs of issues. Um, Miss Tiffany, we have been putting on the back uh, nipples. Apparently they have the most fat in the milk at the back there. So anytime you can see Batman just pushed her off. Um, but anytime she eats at the back, she tends to have a good uh, weight gain day. And um, Kent here also does really well on the nipple. And he's our only, for sure, blue brindle. But uh, yeah, so far by just placing those that need a bit of help on the nipple first and then back on um, once some of the pups are full and fall asleep for a second feeding, um, we find has been a enough. But we definitely would have love to use a nurture's mate on uh, Mellow, our yellow colored puppy, um, when she was deteriorating. Um, some of the nurture's mate products apparently have um, some stuff in it that is questionable, so I haven't quite done enough research on it, and I try to do uh, natural as much as possible. So, you know, the fact that um, we are able to have them continuously gaining weight by just placing the smaller ones at the back uh, whenever mama lays down um, is uh, what we're going to stick to. Um, but yeah, absolutely you want to have something like nurtures made on backup because there's those situations where you just want um, something in the case where, you know, despite your best efforts, they need a, a good kickstart. So these are the pups. We had 12 total, um, but losing Mellow, we're down to um, only 11. And so we had three girls. So, pink was first, uh, lavender was second, purple was third, then we had three males. So we had Logan, Junior, we had Kent, and we had, I think this is, we lost him, where is Sparty? Yeah, that is Sparty, okay. Um, then we had 
two girls. We had Miss Tiffany here, who was se uh, seventh. And then we had Wonder, who was eighth. And then we had two boys. So we had uh, Batman and Bear. And then we had two more females. So we had Taylor, and then Mello was our last one that didn't make it. Um, and yeah, despite taking her to the vet, um, you know, just, she just didn't make it. So we'll continue to improve and learn as we go. Uh, it's a side of breeding that a lot of people don't talk about, but I really appreciate those who have reached out and let us know that we're not alone and just want to share with all of you guys that that does happen and you need to be prepared um, because it's something to respect about the good breeders that they are constantly um, keeping an eye on their pups, doing everything that they can, being emotionally invested, and then you know, there's some things that you just have to accept our, our nature. And so, yeah, um, I find the more experienced breeders lose less pups than the newer ones. So there's definitely some things we can do. Um, and in talking to our trainers, it's definitely worth trying to save them. Um, because in the wild, uh, they they would not be saved. And another dark side of it is the moms tend to uh, eat the pups. So if you're not there to intervene and you're all of a sudden uh, missing one, uh, she may have eaten it. And so um, we're not sure if she would have eaten Mello on day three, um, but she did. Uh, we did present or the pup to know that she didn't make it and she did uh, get pretty vigorous in her licking so we took the, the puppy away to bury it because um to be honest I don't think we mentally could have handled the issue of of seeing her eat uh, one of her puppies so um we have some good footage of the birth which we need to post and edit we also have our um, whelping supplies video that um, we are just almost ready to go with that one. We just need to get um, everything linked up on Amazon for you guys because that's honestly where we got pretty much all of our supplies, uh, especially for those of you who are Prime members and uh, tallying up the cost. So since that video is a little bit fancier in the edits, um, having the puppies uh, working and doing all those things and doing all the stuff that comes with puppies. Um, you need to have your contracts, your puppy applications. People message you way more on social media when you have puppies. They want to know about your price and your program. So um, we have just been really, really uh, busy but um, we will definitely be getting those videos posted um, before the end of this week. So just wanted to give you guys an update on the litter and stay tuned for the birthing video and the uh, whelping supplies that we used and lessons learned. Um, but yeah, we'll be continuing to post things as we go. Um, but yeah, basically, we learned a lot about um, what you need to keep your pups alive. And so, a little bit more bit of a topic, but hopefully uh, some people out there appreciate it um, as it is a reality of breeding. I'm going to go make sure that Tiffany is uh, back there and latched or I will put her on this uh, front nipple um, but yeah so far our mom is doing an amazing job feeding all these puppies and uh, we will continue to spoil her even after she weans them off for being such a good good mama dog and if anyone out there is looking for a seriously good line of dogs um, 
that can naturally handle um, breeding and come from a great corso lineage, uh, check out Garmin King Corsos or Garmin Kane Corsos. They are uh, the breeder we got Phoenix from and they just had nine puppies as well um, and some great females and they come out of um, her dad is Capri Django's son who was Corso Dog of the Year a few years back so you really can't beat um, the lines were um, very much in line with the European standards versus our American standards as we make things so big over here but um, yeah check them out if you guys want a breeding female because uh, Phoenix gave birth to 12 puppies in four hours um, oh and last but not least we had to dock their little tails and uh, front dew claws um, on day three. Uh, that was not fun at all, but um, you know, it, it does help um, ensure there's no accidents and caught dew claws on anything um, as they are hunting or going around playing with their families or other pack members. So it's something that uh, we did to keep to the standard. All right, we have some very tired puppies, a very tired mom. And uh, we'll be back with some more content soon.